there's this like social justice element running through Judaism. It's called a uh, tikkun olam, like kind of healing the world. It's like this idea that God made the world imperfectly, and it's up to humans to kind of fix it up. My people talk about peace. My people talk about justice. My people drink their freedom out their coffee mugs during breakfast. My people say, please save Darfur. Troops home right now for real. But they go and get defensive when the topic turns to Israel. You'll say it's the only democracy in the Middle East. And it's civilization amongst the beasts. They want to throw us into the sea. And all we ever wanted was some peace. Some of my friends join the Sahel. Like they forget war is hell. Smoke kids like Shisha from a bong. And grooving out to some stupid techno song. People like me killing people like them. Some of them bang. Banging for Hashem, some of them banging for security. Hi, my name is Matt, and I'm uh. I'm doing this documentary on the relationship between Judaism and punk rock and radical politics such as anarchism, communism, socialism. Tikkun olam is a phrase that means repairing the world. It's, as Mark Gunnery said, it's the idea that God made the world imperfectly and it's up for humans to fix it. It's the idea of social justice, the idea that you have to go out and do things. And I think this is well represented by radicalism and punk rock. I think it's a connection between these three very different communities and they have certain things in common. I feel that there are tenets of Judaism that facilitate radicalism. I'm going to fund it myself. I don't have much money. But. Training has to be oppositional. And I'm not saying that in a crazy right wing conspiracy theory way.